Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. Today let's learn how to make one of these really large character foam cutouts. I like making these for birthday parties, weddings, or any type of event. And I really like them because they are pretty thick, made out of foam. They will stand on their own. Uh, you will need to have something holding it down if you are making it for an outdoor event, just, you know, if the wind comes to blow it around. But otherwise that it's fairly inexpensive and you only need a couple of materials. All you're gonna need for this project is obviously the foam board. I buy mine off of Amazon, but you could also get this at the Dollar Tree as well. You're also gonna need some large prints. I print mine off my large format printer, but you could just send this out to Staples or Kinko's if you don't have a large format printer. These cutouts are 18 inches long. The only thing that you're gonna need is some really good glue sticks. I'm using Super Tights glue sticks. I love them, they are amazing. The bond is so, so tight. An X-Acto knife, some scissors, and a cutting mat, a self-healing cutting mat, so you don't ruin your table. This project is fairly simple. To start, all I'm doing is taking my scissors and cutting out my character cutouts that I'll be doing today. When you're doing this, you wanna keep a border around your characters. Don't cut it too tight. You'll get rid of all the excess later. Now that we got that done, I also forgot in the materials list that you will need a brayer. It's an optional item, but I do think that you need it for this project. Next, what you wanna do is turn over just one of the prints. If you're doing multiple, just do one at a time and take your glue stick and rub a whole bunch of glue on the backside. I always start on the outside and I'm going very, I know that you're gonna cut off the excess and there is excess back there, but make sure and just glue it all down, starting with around the entire outline and then working on the inside. And again, you wanna use a good amount of glue here. If I'm doing multiple cutouts, I always just do the entire glue process together. So if I have three, then I'm gonna do one, glue it down on the foam board, do the second one, and then keep going that way. That way, when I'm going back to the very first one, my glue has had a chance to dry a little bit. Now, if you're not doing multiple cutouts and you're only doing one, that's fine. All you wanna do is just place the cutout on, and I always use the brayer, and I kind of push really hard to make sure that it stays, and then let it dry for a little bit because when you start cutting it away, if the glue is still wet, it will start to shred your print. Now that your cutouts have a ha now that your cutouts have had a chance to dry, all you wanna do is just cut them out in smaller pieces so they're easy to work with. Remember to leave some excess. We're getting ready to cut that off, but at least now that we have them in smaller, manageable sizes, you're not going to be overloaded with bulky material. Now that we've got them all out, I always go to the very first one. If I glued, the first one was the orange and black one. That's the one I'm gonna start out with. That just means that the glue has had more time to cure. I keep saying that and it is a very important process only because if you are cutting your paper and foam core with wet glue, it will tear your paper no matter how great your paper is. Also, I'd like to note here that always start with a fresh, clean X-Acto blade. The last thing you want is to have a used and dull X-Acto blade and when you're trying to cut and your very first cut starts to get all jagged and gross, you definitely don't want that. So always make sure that your blade is nice and sharp. There isn't a whole lot to learn here. It really is very important that you just go slow and you do nice, clean lines. You do wanna put a good amount of pressure on your X-Acto knife blade when you're cutting because you don't wanna go not very deep and then you're ripping the back side of the paper off and then you're getting tear marks. So you do wanna go heavy hand handed, but you just wanna do clean lines. I have had people suggest making my X-Acto knife blade hot or cutting it on a glass cutting board. I don't really know how to make an X-Acto knife hot and I don't have a really large cutting glass cutting board to see if this hack will work, but those are suggestions that other people have told me to do. Now, if you do find that you didn't go all the way through on your cut, don't continue to hacksaw it through the front. Just turn your character around and bend the foam core towards you, and you can kind of see where the line cut lines are. Then just take your X-Acto knife and just blade it right off, and it'll, be, it'll come off smooth. 
Same with the rest of the process. If I'm doing multiple cutouts, I cut them all out together. Now that we're almost finished, there are a couple ways that you could go about making your character stand up on their own. One is the super easy way, just lean them on something and then they will stand and they won't fall over. The second way is building your own stand out of the leftover foam core that you have. I do do this, but for shipping purposes, it's not ideal. And the last way is buying these really cool poster stand-up thingamajigs. I don't really know what they're called. I'll link them down in the description of this video, but they are amazing. You have a little bit of 3M sticky on the back side of it. All you do is tear that off, stick it onto your character, and then you assemble it. There isn't a whole lot. There's like two tabs back there. But the coolest thing about this is that once you're done using it, you can disassemble the, the tabs and lay it down flat. But it's also reusable too. So if you're going to use it for a different event, then you can use it again. Some of the ones that I buy are a little bit longer than what I need it to be, but I need the base to be as wide. So all I do is I stick the stand onto my character. I turn it over and with my X-Acto knife, I just cut over the excess because I don't want it to show later on. But that way you have the full support of the entire cutout from top to bottom. And that is seriously it, y'all. This is like the easiest and coolest decorations for any event. Okay, I sure hope I inspired you to create and I will see you later.